As you're about to find out, there's a few things that I just don't understand. We'll start with Freedom Day. What's going on over there? Are you guys really looking to run a peaceful rally? The person who has organised it has been liais liaisoning with police actually for quite a few months now on different things. And um, the police that I met with the other day actually mentioned this person's name. Oh, you know, she's been so good. She's been trying to work with us. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. She's been trying to work with you for two months and still hasn't had an event, you know? Like, anyway. The point is, is um, <clears throat> I don't really trust what the, I don't, it, it's apparently police approved, but I'm weary about that um, because uh, it's very possible they could be setting up another trap, but I hope I'm wrong. Hello? Yeah, good day, mate. How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. What do you need? I uh, wanted to have a chat to someone about the protest that's planned for Hyde Park. When? Uh, it's on the 5th of December. 5th? Yeah, I believe it's on the 5th of December. Let me just confirm what, that. What group is it? Uh, it's Freedom Day. 6th of December. 6th of December, yeah, mate, that's the Organized one. Organised by Brady Gunn. Brady Gunn. Do you know Brady Gunn? No. Um, what organisation is he with? I don't know. You're obviously making inquiries about it. Do you know him? No. No, I don't, which is a little bit interesting. Is he going under the Freedom Day banner or Millions uh, Rise? Let's have a look. Thanks, mate. It's down for 6 to the 12th. That's the... Brady Gunn. Stand in the park, yeah? Yeah, mate, that's, that's the one. Does that ring a bell? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, he's got it down for 6. Are you... Is there conflict or what's the go? Uh, it's not exactly conflict. It's more about trying to ensure collaboration. Uh, yep. so I've been involved in, in the movement, so to speak, for a while now, and, uh, there's been a few issues just to, with, in relation to collaboration with the people that were doing the protests in, uh, ANZ Stadium. Yeah. So, was that, was that approved by you guys? Because I know they didn't get no, a... No. <clears throat> yeah, we only look after city, so anything within our command, that's it. Um, so that'd be, oh... Who looked after? Who? Because what happened was that Good question. the the person that ran ran fifth of September basically turned around and said that the police were going to close off the train stations and close off all of Hyde Park, which we both know that's a ridiculous notion. So okay, they had yeah. they held the protest out at ANZ Stadium. Uh, it was very divisive with the, within the entire movement, and um, there's quite a quite a strong rumor that. Um, that was organised with police collaboration, even though a permit wasn't granted. Some, look, it's a, it's a Form 1, so a Form 1 gives you, if we get seven clear days notice, technically really eight if you want to count them, but yeah. if we get clear days notice, it, it gives you the right to obstruct traffic and foot traffic. That's to, right. To, to a point. Um, not anything ridiculous like um, sitting down and blocking major roads or going over the Sydney Harbour Bridge or anything like that but a lot of a lot of protests here in the city we don't get the notice but we still facilitate them that's right basically it, ba sorry mate basically if, yeah. if we're peaceful um, we had that seven days notice you guys in effect sort of work with us and, and yes, as marshals correct. as well in a, in a yes, form correct. yeah so so what do you think happened? Look, 5th of September, they had three weeks' notice to prepare. Was that, was that the big one? Well, it was meant was to be the big one, yeah. It happened at ANZ, and it also happened at Hyde Park as well, unannounced. Okay. Um, yeah, I've been away from this office for a little while, so I'm a bit out of the loop, but um, I do vaguely remember. Was that the one where there were arrests at Homebush, or...? There was arrests at... that one. There was. There was arrests at Homebush as well as uh, Hyde Park on the same day. Yeah, OK. Um, yeah, you've got to remember, though, that was probably COVID-related. 
there's two different things here. There's I I'm talking schedule four months pre okay pre COVID for example. Yeah. Four month comes in, give us notice. Uh, school strike for climate, 20th of September 2019, 50,000 people. Not a, not a drama. We knew about it. We spoke with the organisers. We, we worked alongside them. Well, that's right. Got got it done. Everyone was happy. Um, so, mate, so the... Un- come in and restrictions of lessen the amount of people. Well, that's right. But the understanding is, is that um, this protest organiser, his name is Michael Sims, has been speaking with the police every single day prior to September 5th and was told that Hyde Park was going to be closed off, which means that basically you have to ring off the whole of Hyde Park or put up barriers. Yeah, that, it's impossible. We, we never closed no, a location it's... to the public just for a protest. No, as well as a we train... Might, we might say, oh, can you go that way if someone wants to go through, or they're a little bit hesitant, which a lot of people are when they see a protest, but no, nothing gets officially closed off, no. No. So... Who, what police was he speaking to every day where they told him that he couldn't go to Hyde Park but they could he could go to Olympic Park but I he don't didn't... know. We, we wouldn't have organised Olympic Park one um, and who, who, who are you talking about in relation to what's this guy's name his name is Michael Sims and he said that he wasn't allowed to have a protest at Hyde Park that you guys were going to close it all off and that um, the train stations were going to be closed off and instead we had a protest at ANZ Stadium where the police had prior in prior knowledge of it happening, he was talking to them every single day and it was basically like a training exercise when you watch the playback the footage. You can just see him basically being corralled around on horseback and with right squad for two hours. What was the title of the protest? Was it the uh, 5th or 9th? Yeah, it was called Freedom Day Rally. <clears throat> oh, yeah, March for Freedom. Okay. So, as you know, there's obviously infiltration of movements through, you know, ASIO and, and ASD and, and obviously AFP as well. And um, agent provocateurs are a real thing, um, you know, direct, like, infiltrating a movement and, and being part of the leadership group is something that is obviously a well, well-used tactic by police forces. And okay, the f- so you could, you could, I don't really need to talk about September. Yeah. So what's your query about the one at Hyde Park coming in December? Well, who's organising it, firstly, so that's Brady. If there's a best contact number for him so we can ensure collaboration between... Oh, I can't, I, I can't give that out. You'll have to get in contact with him through Facebook or something like that. But that, that, could, in, that could mean that there'd be two separate, mo- two separate protests take place, which is what happened on 5th of September because there wasn't clear understanding of the situation. So two protests took place instead of one, which, which meant a lot more police resources were used because it had to go to two different locations. And if we, aren't in, if we aren't able to ensure that Brady Gunn, and obviously this protest is legit, like as we just spoke about 5th of September, you can see there's real concerns, well then there's going to be two separate protests again, and that's more police resources, and that's the last thing either of us want. I, I just want a peaceful protest, and I want to ensure yeah, that it's a genuine... Uh, I, don't mean to cause, I don't mean to cause trouble, it's just it's a real concern. So what's your name? My name's Brendan. Do you want to organise that, that one stand in the park? Is that what you're saying? You prefer oh, I'm part, it yourself? Well, I'm part of the organisation of this movement in general. I'm involved in yeah, this okay. movement. So people listen to words that I say um, and people, I also listen to them. And now that there's a bunch of confusion, there's a bunch of, bunch of mistrust and we believe that there's police collaboration on a deeper level. It might even be an operation, mate. And that's fine if there is. But we need to understand who these people are in the movement so we don't follow their lead. Right. Okay. Uh, what's your surname? Uh, I'd prefer to keep that confidential at the moment. Okay. Do you have an email address? Um, look, if you want to, con- if it's about contacting me back, mate, um, if I can ensure a call back, I can give you all of my details. I'm not, I'm not looking to be a hidden person. I'm, I'm genuine and honest, and I want a peaceful collaboration with with everyone including the police which I respect so well, I, I, could, I could contact Brady and see if he wants to get in contact with you and you can organise it but it, he's got a, he sent a schedule one through for 500 people okay so I, I don't know if he'll get that but um, that's yeah. what he's thinking obviously with um, COVID in mind he'll he'll use all the um, you know safe distance and yeah. Uh, hand sanitizers and all that, the masks and all that. So, um, and it is 
And a stand in the park, is that the group? Or is that just what he's calling it? Well, the group's changed names about three or four times now since we first uh, started asking questions of them. So it's like they're hiding under different organisations every time they get caught out and yeah. the movement starts asking questions. They'll try and rebrand and reaffiliate with different people. So, like, I've never even heard of Brady Gunn, so I, I'm not too sure. Uh, um, okay. Are you, are you against what he has or what he... I don't even... He doesn't even really say. Um, it's just for look, freedom. I, I'm That's not what a... the protest is about. I'm not against it per se. I'm not really for protesting next to the war memorial. I think a, a level He's of not respect. Going to there. I'm, um, I moved him. It's not. It's I'm, yeah. Good. <clears throat> Is it going to be near the fountain or? Yes, correct. Yeah. Um, look, mate. I'm, it's not against what he's doing at all. It's it's a better understanding of. Uh, who he's involved with because I believe that he's not on his own. I was expecting a different name to come out. And basically, uh, we need to ensure collaboration so two separate protests don't take place or at least so different speakers. There's people that want to um, engage in speaking there on the day and they're not able to get in touch with uh, the organiser. So it's not, just, it's not just me. It's, it's a bit of a silent. They, they, they like to keep things secret, so to speak. And, and you're, um, so you're March for Freedom, that's your group, yeah? No, no. What's your group? Uh, my group, mate, is myself. Um, I don't have an officialised branded name per se. I work with certain people. I do have a page that has a name. Um, but in... What's that? Wow. Um, yeah, I'd like to keep that confidential at the moment. <laughs> No, it's be that well known then if, if you want to keep it confidential. Oh, look, mate, it's called We Are Awakening if you wanted to talk it up. Oh. In terms of well known, in terms of well known, I don't know if people mean anything or anything like that, and it's not about that, it's just about individuals having their voice. But I was forced to raise my voice on my page, and that has 15,000 people on there now. My profile has 5,000 people on there now, so if you want to have an under if you want to have an understanding if I do have a reach in terms of causing conflict or at least getting people to turn up to a different place, I do, and I don't want that. I just want collaboration and understanding of whether this is a real event or not because that build-up of that platform has started since the 5th of September questioning whether the fact that, whether there's actually a police operation taking place, which many people do believe. So now there's yeah, a bunch of... I mistra- no like, we're all going to get 500 people, so... Yeah. That's, look, we get four months in. I'm a bit hesitant that I, I don't think he will because he was at Pitt Street with about six people last time I met or with the first time I met him. Okay. I okay. don't think he'll get 500, but people, um, I guess, plan for, for that amount of people and then if, if there's less people, well, yeah. Well, it's quite, it's quite possible that he might have connected up with this network that I'm speaking about and now they're using him to put through the Section 1. And that's why I haven't really heard of him. And that's why he only had six people at a previous protest. He's a real activist that wants to create change. And they've got it, he's got in touch with them. And now he's putting through the, the, the thing on their behalf. Do you have anything that comes up about the 5th of September on your file? Oh, I do. But, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there, mate. Mate, but can, no, I, can, anyway, I, can I, you... look, can I just understand who is the people that put through applications for the 5th of September? I don't want oh, to... I can't, I can't tell you that, mate. That's fine. I'm not even going to look, look into that. There's multiple things in that folder, and I believe it was it was done outside the command as well, in whoever looks after home will show. Yeah, okay. Um, Is there a... Con- you get, Sorry, mate, go. You need to get in contact with Brady, obviously, possibly Facebook, um, yeah. if you want to touch base with him, but... That's a good idea. What happens in relation to different groups... If you want to organise something to get together or if you've got conflict with each other, well, I suggest I wouldn't bring that to Hyde Park. Oh, certainly um, not, mate. It's not about that. You know? It's not about it's that. Just, it's just not worth it. So Look, he sent through a Form 1. I've got to, I've got to honour it. He's given me plenty of notice. Um, he's given me heaps of notice. Um, I've informed him, obviously, all COVID to make sure he doesn't breach any more than 500. Yeah. As per we're telling everyone, um, COVID safety plans, etc. Um, he's he's been given that area to, to have his thing, and I don't know what's going to happen. Sometimes 50, 50 will turn up, could be five hundred turn up. Who knows? Yeah. No, I appreciate. But, I, I appreciate the information. Um, who's that's the, all right, mate. Who's the best person to speak to at Homebush? Oh, I don't even know. 
Liverpool command that is. Uh, possibly Liverpool, I think. Okay. Um, police area command. I don't know if they have a planning unit, though. It's probably just a, a duty officer or something like that. Too easy. So, and if I've we got... Do, we do a 1,000 protests a year, so we have a planning unit. Yeah, nice. And look, mate, if I have any other specific questions, can I call back through to you? That's fine, mate. I'm here till 4.30, and I'm here on Tuesday again. Awesome. What's your name, mate? Scott. Scott. Do you have a surname, yeah. Scott? Nah, just Scott. <laughs> Too easy, Scott. Look, thanks for thanks, the chat, Brandon. mate. Have See a good you, one. Mate. See you, buddy.